Hi, my name's Dale. I'm course manager here at Drayton Park Golf Club. Let's step inside and see what goes on. So here we are in the lads' welfare room. I'm here in the mornings, set up before the lads. I can issue the tasks out for the team. We've got a team of six here and everyone gets their, their tasks for the morning and afternoon. So we all know what's expected and what needs to be done for the day. We can then pinch off the other whiteboards for any outstanding tasks, just to ensure that we don't get too far behind on any little niggles out on the course. This is also their tea room, so they can make themselves comfortable during their breaks and put their feet up. Okay, so a golf course is cut at various different heights. This is the green surround, but it's about 25 millimeters. And then you've got a collar or an approach. You can see this is a collar that is mown at 12 millimeters. And then this would be your green. And during the main golfing season, you can mow this at between three and a half, four and a half, five millimeters. So as you can see, you can realize why people call it fine turf. And then you've got a tee box over there where people begin the golf hole. Those are mown between 10 and 12 millimeters. As a course manager, I am fully responsible for the whole of the golf course and its maintenance. I'm also in charge of a, uh, a team of greenkeepers who help me maintain the golf course to the standard that our members expect. This could be a variety of mowing, top dressing, divoting, spraying, fertilizing, weeding, managing the trees, managing the pests all this adds up into what is required to produce these kind of surfaces all year round here we are in february golfers would normally be out here today and expecting a finely prepared golf course so what used to be a very seasonal job is now throughout the whole year so as you can see the place must be tidy for play. So where do we store our machines that we use on the golf course? In our greenkeeper sheds. Here we have all the tractors, hand mowers and ride on mowers that we use to prepare the course. Also got some chainsaws, hedge cutters, these are our triples. What we mean by that are three units, three wheelers. These are predominantly used on greens, tees, and approaches. We've got three of those. Then we've got the tractor. We've got a couple of tractors. They're used to tow tr such things as trailers. That's a rough machine. This is a hand mower. So we use this on greens and tees. You can see there there's a brush in front which just flicks the turf up prior to being mown. We've got four of those. You've then got your tractor with the sprayer on which is used to apply chemicals. Here is a spiker which is called the Toro Procore. You can just see some, some spikes on the machine itself which drives holes in the turf. Down the rear, you've got a small rough mower, you've got a surrounds mower and a fairway mower. And then the red machine in the corner is what we call a greens iron, which rolls the turf. So plenty going on in a small space, but everything that we need to prepare the golf course.
Okay, so in general terms, to keep the course nice and green and growing as we like, we need to have as much water on the course or access to water on the course as we can. In order for this, you have to have a, a state-of-the-art irrigation system, which allows us to put as much water on the areas that we need. So on this green in particular, we've got four sprinklers around this green. We've got then two on the approach and numerous on the tee boxes. They vary in, in shapes and sizes, depending on the amount of water that you want to put on. So this green has this type of head. It's quite a large head for the greens, which is common. We've got four of these around this green and it allows us to water the golf course. So how does the water get to this point? Okay, so the water to our golf course comes from these tanks that are filled via what is a borehole that's abstracted from the ground. Some golf courses have to get their water from other resources such as the mains, but then it is quite cost effective to have, have your own borehole. These you need licenses for through the Environment Agency. And then once the water is abstracted to these tanks, it's then fed through into this station, which is pumped from these pumps through the pipes and then onto the golf course. Like so. Okay, we've moved from the pump house here now to the control point for the water system. From this point, I can control all the water that goes out on the golf course. We can pop up one, two, or five heads at a time. And it's all controlled from this one facility. Within the greenkeeping industry, we've got an association called Vigor. These provide ongoing turf management exhibitions, workshops, and education for us to continue to learn. Yeah, good question. I would, I would ping out notes to all your local golf courses and just offer you your services over the summer holidays or maybe at the weekends. Just say, can I come and rake a few bunkers and just show that you're keen to work on a golf course. I would also write to your local college and then with your support of that golf course that you volunteer at, they would enrol you on a uh, MVQ or just a basic greenkeeping course. None whatsoever. If you don't have the, uh, the grades for maths, English, science, do not worry about it. You can always gain those at college via key skills. No, you do not. Yes, it helps to have an understanding of the game, but it doesn't mean you have to play the game or to be at any standard. Some of the best green keepers I know do not play golf. Ah, oh, that's easy, the summer. Shorts, t-shirt, walking around the golf course with a mower. Everyone loves summer. Oh, I'd have to say winter. Cold, rain, snow, rain, frost. Definitely winter. Ooh. I love all the jobs. Although, I'm not keen on streaming ditches. I'll go with streaming ditches. 
I do like changing holes. I've always liked changing holes. I like spraying, uh, hand mowing greens, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go for hole changing. The funniest moment. Well, not to put you trainees off, but I've seen a few trainees cut the whole green without even the mowers engaged, so they just rolled the turf. A few mistakes like that. <laughs> 